Okay guys, quick update on this off-air speaker solution I'm working on. So last video basically explained I was working off remixing an existing Quest 2 design. Um, obviously I didn't like the nut and bolt solution, I didn't like threading wires through two pieces. So I've basically, it's, it's ended up I've started again. Um, but with my limited CAD knowledge, I was originally working with Tinkercad, um, which is, is only gets you so far. Um, so essentially I've got a mix of on shape and Tinkercad, so final design is, is I pinched this top bit because I couldn't fill it in Tinkercad, but the actual circle, the actual speaker fitment, the grill, um, and even the brackets, everything's different at this point. Um, but visually, this this top piece here looks the same. Um, so what I'll do is I'll cover what I've done so far. Um, that is the original design that clipped onto Quest 2. Um, in my effort of trying to get this in the right place. Um, because again, that, that speaker placement is quite important. Um, all of these are magnets, as I've put magnets on, I have no idea how to get the magnets back out and how to glue them. But all of these are different shapes, different lengths. Um, I have some of the types of brackets. Um, just getting the brackets the right size. So the original solution basically was using um, the cable going through this bracket as well. So you push the cable through and then it threads up and tucks in neatly where you push it onto your head strap so it holds it there and then the cable comes through the other end and with the pivot you actually put quite a lot of stress on that cable so I wanted to change it anyway um, my original idea was basically take that add magnets so it's just magnet attachment so you can detach the speaker arms from the from the headband but you're still limited by the the wire tethering you together um, so obviously I've scrapped that idea completely and what I do is I'll basically show you what I've got to this point um, this is v2 i'm on v3 now so i'll explain why i've changed this as well again working from a remix um using tinkercad so basically the original design for this arm was much longer and then it threaded the cable centrally and i couldn't have that with the magnets so basically i've had to sort that out um, but also um, trying to remix this the cup itself i'm not too happy with because they just they're unbelievably easy to just pop off so i'll be adjusting it on my head and it just it just pop off so I needed, I needed to change that whole assembly anyway. So this is basically up to this point. The arm idea is pretty solid. Um, you can just about see, because obviously this is a really rough prototype for print. Cable sort of comes up into here and out the side, which basically means once you're pivoting round this pivot stop on the 90 or 45 that I've done, the cable is, is not stressed, it's not tethered, it's not tangled. So the idea is you have these speakers wired together and you've just got your 3.5 output and you can take that between different headsets so you simply only have to change the bracket itself go into your head strap um, and again I've only got a Kiwi Elite um, style on the Quest 2 and I've got the Pika Near Free Link so they're both done um, but anything else obviously you just need to adjust where they clip onto the head strap and then if ear position matters I can change where the magnet is vertically um, so what I'll do, if I get this magnet the right way around, so that one is attaching, and I'll show you how, this is a this is a very fast profile print, but I went to a lot of effort to make sure everything fits perfectly, so this, it's a nice tight fit, not too tight, it's going to damage your head strap, nice and easy to clip on, and then the magnets obviously push in, but you do glue them in, um, because these magnets are super strong, so essentially, once you've got that, um, the right right here it is but yeah you've got you've got the basic basic straight down which obviously if you're moving and head banging you're absolutely fine in that case um, but what I've done as well I've added a 45 degree stopper because in the case of a Pico near free link um, you have a display port um, connection like a, a tether bit at the front here and what that means is I can keep this to replace that bracket that's normally on on the head strap and have the speakers and 45 degree them which is fine for me sim racing but if you're obviously heavy headbanger what you're going to find is obviously it's going to come down i can't really help that but this is meant to this is meant to be in the right place straight down that 45 degree was a bonus and that's why it took so long to actually get the arms in in the correct uh, distance so along with a 45 um again done that so you can at least rest your headset down without putting strain on this not that it really matters it's magnets you can take them off but there's also a 90 degree stopper as well. 
So you can store it in your case like that and it should obviously hold itself there. But yeah, it's, it's a little bit of compromise on the, on the wire in front because it is going to look a bit messy. I'm not entirely sure um, what I'm going to target. I might have to target the Quest 2 for cable length because the, the auxiliary port is on the left hand side of the headset. Um, so obviously if I make this exactly the right place for this headset, it's not going to terminate into this one. I need to have to use a 3.5 extension. I was I was maybe thinking I'd have like a, a central connection and then you just have uh, an adapter in line or a flexi or coiled cable or something. I'm not sure what to do there, but the actual design side of it, um, I'm pretty happy with now is basically being able to take them both off and just transfer them in between headsets or even um, head straps. So if you change a head strap, you're not limited by the actual um, speaker solution for it. So I know the Logitech course only works with the Elite style strap from Oculus, doesn't work with a Bobo. The idea is here, I can just make a different bracket and you can take these speakers between your Bobo, between your Elite, between whatever. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that in that regard. Um, there is a few more final changes because this isn't the final shape. Um, I'm not too sure what I'm going to do cosmetically. It's going to have to take the same path. Um, essentially these are the speakers obviously I'm testing at the minute. This is the actual thingy, um, Thingiverse design um, circle and obviously the cone that keeps falling off. Um, I got so fed up with that obviously I've made it looks identical but it's basically the only top skin is um, from this profile just because I couldn't use Tinkercad to do that and I've used Tinkercad because I have no patience to try work out how to thread a cable through awkwardly in uh, in on shape so I'm, I'm quite new to on shape I've done the basics I've done the cone this is a different size cone to what actually provided on the on the Thingiverse version um, and again I can't I can't use this on my design it doesn't doesn't fit completely different so the actual um, internal diameter I've got here um, I've done different shaped cones, trying to experiment from what I can get get away with because again, speakers, um, I've just got these soldered, but if you put tr uh, crimp terminals on, uh, you're going to struggle. This one wouldn't work with crimp terminals, the original one, so you have to bend them in or use 90 degree terminals, they're quite hard to get hold of. So essentially I start with like a massive extended design, um, and again that's sort of a push fit into this, oh, I should say into this one, um, push fit into here. I've recessed it so it's not it's not coming out um, and this is the actual loose this is the loose one so this isn't even the finished product um, so basically yeah the extended cup basically lets you do um, big terminals if you really needed to but in all honesty that looks a bit ridiculous um, so basically the final final one is looking like this um, which is quite a, quite a big difference you can see there Know how to get that across on camera with me looking in the way but yeah essentially this is as tight as I can get and again I've got I've got multiples of these I've gone through gone through a fair bit of um, design testing so that's a really tight fit um, still gives me enough to put what in well, I say what in um, any any padding in the back to obviously seal, seal it up um, again you can experiment I don't know what the best is for these drivers I for the size of them I don't think it's going to need porting or open back um, I think the base has suffered with that and that's the whole reason I've been trying to redesign this is to get a bit more base um, but what I've done here is basically this if, it, if the camera's going to pick it up terminal connection these are normal sort of red crimp terminals as long as you cut the plastic off because again you're not going to need the plastic um, that will fold down you're still going to need to bend the terminals can't really help that bit but the actual fitment and again with the wire coming through um, through the arm itself here, I've made it notch in a cup, which will actually hold and yeah, hold and um, hold that cable in. So there's no no way of it straining your your bits here. I was thinking about hot glue, but I've designed that cup again, so it actually puts a bit of um, bit of tension on your cable, and then won't um, pull it from away from the terminals there. Not that you're not you're ever really gonna swing it around on your on your um, cable. I wouldn't recommend that anyway. But yeah, the actual cup design, I'm pretty, pretty confident it's not going to come off. So it's much better than on, on Thingiverse. Um, again, you could glue it if you're absolutely set on, on doing it, but you're not going to need to. I mean, this is oversized cup. It's, it's, again, I'm not going to be able to get it back in properly now. 
it's an oversized cup, um, so it takes some effort to put on, but it basically means it's sealed. And when you rotate your headphones, you're not dealing with the cup flying off. Um, the speaker grill itself, it looks similar. Um, if I can find the original one. So the original one compared to mine, again, it, in in software anyway, these are supposed to be quite quite thick. But you can see where they print, you end up with gaps, and as it, well, I've just snapped it. Then it loses all strength. So basically, um, where I was originally remixing this, I had to shave down this top section just to get it close and close and like just constant adjustment to try to get it as close as I can onto that bracket and into my ear. Um, so it only left with about 0.8 of that grill, so that had no strength anyway. So again, with the redesign, even though it looks identical, I've basically done that whole shape again. Um, so this grill's one mil, and again, it's as, as close as I, it's as thick as I can make it before it's going to interfere with the driver, um, because I've not got an amplifier to amp, amp these drivers up yet. So I'm not sure how much that cone's going to move. It's not necessarily a normal cone speaker, so it shouldn't necessarily be acting like a, a subwoofer would if it's. Um, if I'm right in thinking that so yeah essentially I've got I've got this now so I can transfer these between headsets super simple um, I'll have to show you this one but yeah if you've got any recommendation I mean I, I'm not sure what to do with this um, I'm very much a function over form sort of guy so this actual design looks like a little turbo fish um, I'm not sure what to do with this I need I need to keep it so I can have the rotation and I need to keep this cable free of the rotation that you are doing. Um, if I get back onto this here, so that is a, just a little left speaker. <laughs> these cups, that's exactly why I've redesigned these cups. Um, so yeah, this cable here, obviously there's no guide for it at the minute and it's dependent on the headset. Um, so again, I've done it. So 45 degrees for me in the Pico. When I'm sim racing, that's fine. It puts the position in the, the right place in my ear once I'm using the display port cable as the bracket here so that's that's exactly the right place i need but again if you were just doing like beat saber or whatever um you actually can use this as a counterweight it's the normal normal position is 90 degrees down and that could be moved back to the head uh, sort of in the in line of your ear um and act as a sort of a counterweight as well because you can go past the fulcrum point um you don't you don't want stuff at the front of the headset ideally um which is, again i don't know why they've done that on the course to attach to this but it adds a bit of weight um so yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, the only thing I've got is basically, I, I, I wanted a 45 degree stop. I know everyone's not really gonna like that, but I wanna put headsets down. I don't want it I don't want it bouncing on this. I don't want it rotating all the way up and being wobbly. So 45 degree stoppers keep the headset sort of sta stable. And then if you do need to twist it 90, it's not a, it's not a, like a, um, a locking stop. It's a, an actual, you'd have to pull the arm back a little bit. You Again, you can do it fairly easy but essentially the 90 degree stop is there as well. Um, it may fit in cases I'm not entirely sure on a profile yet. Um, again, I've, I've only got, I've, I've got an Ecro Oculus Quest 1 case for my, for my Oculus Quest 2, so that's already tight as it is. Um, there's no way that's going in there. But the whole idea in the first place was to get this separate. So that's basically together like that, nice pair of plums. <laughs> and that can just be whatever, chucked in a little pouch or something or even behind your lenses nice and easy um, without having to obviously have the bulk of everything connected and the wire connected um, yeah and just a bonus of being able to take this between different headsets or head straps um, so I've done the Kiwi design on the Oculus Quest 2 I'll get that uploaded soon um, Pico Neo 3 link that's done as well um, I believe the Pico Neo 3 and the Pro um, have a sort of a vote it doesn't have an elite style strap I have I have got the measurements for this and I'm working on that but again, that's just going to be another minefield because I don't necessarily know that headset. Um, so I don't know what the arm length is going to be required. But the whole idea is I wanted to keep the arms the same size because that's working off... Well, any, any Oculus Quest strap is going to be roughly the same position. It always comes out here. So the, the distance is basically taken from this and then made to work with the Pico. And it's, it's as good as I can get between those two headsets anyway. Um, so anything new that comes out, again, I can adjust... By the actual bracket itself and then modify the bracket to move it down or backwards or wherever you need to go um, but yeah su super simple to put together um, if you're not too worried on print, print quality um, I can have these done in about 10 10 to 12 minutes um, on a hyper fast profile and the quality is fine at 
more than functional. Um, and then simply push a magnet in. Obviously make sure you're getting your magnets the right way around so they're not repelling from each other. Um, but yeah, you push a magnet in, glue it onto there. And again, it's super simple. You just clip onto head straps. I'm kind of peeking here for you now. <laughs> ah, this is my, yeah, so again, I've got, I've got multiple. They're all going and it's all slightly different. So um, I've been working on getting a nice fit. Um, so again, the Quest 2 is a really nice fit. Peak and Eofruit Ink, um, mine's functional. It's fine, this is way too tight for what I would offer to someone else. Um, but that has, has been adjusted and I've got them within this box somewhere. Um, so yeah, that's not too bad to print. Um, new arm design, because of the cable threading through and because of the tolerance you need here, you can do it on a, a 0.28 layer height um, and get it quite quick, so it's about 40, 40 minutes. Um, but again, you need it. I, I, I've done this specifically to make this super tight and fit nice and actually hold itself in. So if you do it on a, a really, really hyper fast profile print, um, you're probably gonna struggle with the fitment. So again, I will chuck in the settings that I've got from my, my printer when I upload the files. Um, so if anyone else is wanting to print these himself, um, I'm not entirely sure what, what the deal is with like the the legality between sharing designs and stuff because I said I, I originally started with the remix of this, but essentially I've I've done everything. Well, all I've done is pinch the top skin. So that whole this whole piece is now my own. All the cups are my, now my own, and the brackets are now my own. So I'm not sure if I can sell it on Etsy or not. If you can let me know if anyone knows what, what the uh, what the deal is with that, that'd be cool. Um, but yeah, the whole idea was just to share this design in the first place. So um, now I'm on to testing. So I'm gonna try a few little USB-C DACs as well. Um, I know the Pico can use it. Quest 2, I'm obviously going to be limited to Airlink when I'm using the USB-C, but um, that should make the driver sound a little bit better. Um, and yeah, I'll just I'll just do a few few days or a week testing and uh, check the designs up. See what see what people think. I mean, this will change. Um, it's not going to look as as silly as this, but that's, that's functional for the minute. Um, so again, if you're happy with that, great. Um, it takes very little time to print. Uh, adding, adding more plastic adds more weight, so I'm trying to just keep it as functional as I can and just, uh, yeah, just function over form, really. So, yeah, that's it. I mean, we're up to speed. We're up to speed, so I will get these shared, shared around if anyone wants sort of a... If any big YouTubers want these firing out, I'm, they, they're going to sound the same as the pretty good 3D because they're the same drivers. Um, it's just my solution to actually attach them to the headset is different. So I'm happy to send you some 3D print stuff. It's no problem at all. Um, yeah, and give them a go. You're going to have to sort your own wiring. But again, with how I've made this now, you can you can crimp it and fit the crimps on um, with the comb. And again, it's all push fit. There's no glue needed. Um, it's all super simple to put together. So yeah, if anyone's interested, keep an eye out. I will post an update in the comments section once the, the link's live and uh, yeah, have fun.